I'm Dr. Ratnabuli Chakraborty, the director of Max Medical Research and Genetics. Uh, today, this is the era of uh, AI, artificial intelligence and genetics. And uh, if you go back, we can find in mid 19th century, uh, Mendel, of, all of you know the name of Mendel, Gregor Jordan Mendel. He found out the first term genetics and he did it with the pea, pea plants. And we call him as the father of genetics. And who is the mother of genetics? Rosalind Franklin. And she found out the relationship of DNA with, with the double helix. And a lot of days have passed after that. And today, we all of us, we know what is gene, what is genetics, and how we are taking help of genetics in giving a bright future of our patients. The patients who are infertile, the patients who are losing their children, their babies a lot of times, those who are being unable to have child or they're losing child or having preterm birth or later on they're finding out that the child has got some abnormality chromosomal and genetics. Now it has become easy to diagnose by different methods. We were earlier doing at the 12 weeks diagnosis of Down syndrome, Edward syndrome, Patau syndrome by certain tests, sonography as well as the double marker test, then came triple marker, then quadruple marker. Nowadays, we take blood from mother and do testing called NIPT, non-invasive prenatal diagnosis and testing and screening so that we can very easily see, say if there is any chromosomal abnormality or not. It has gone again quite further and now we are doing chromosomal microarrays. We are now going up to karyotex, whole genome sequencing and in our infertility practice IVF, nowadays we are doing PDT, prenatal genetic diagnosis, PDTA, PDTM, so that we can find if there is any genetic problem that is being carried to the embryo or why uh, this embryo is being rejected even if it is implant is not getting implanted in the uterus. So a lot of information we are getting now and we have to de depend on a, a lab which is giving us a perfect result. This is something very, very important because this deals with genes. And therefore, we have to depend on a lab who can give us a perfect result. I personally am sending to MedGenome and we are getting perfect results. In fact, uh, last week we could find out a clue why a couple was completely uh, infertile and was not even conceiving after IVF. It got failure in different centers, came to our center, Max, and we found out that uh, by this genetic testing, there is a problem in the seventh chromosome. So when this uh, the, this was diagnosed from Maid Genome, the genetic counselor came and talked with the patient, and it was uh, found that there is a high chance of uh, you know transmitting this to the child. Uh, therefore, the couple decided to have a donor sperm uh, to for the pregnancy to get the, a successful pregnancy, and thus it is helping in a long way to form the family. Uh, of this couple who were totally frustrated after three IV failures earlier in different centers. So I think genetics is going to be a long way help for not only obstetrics and gynecology segment, but also in oncology, on, also in nephrology, cardiology, and a lot of other uh, uh, you know, uh, branches of uh, medical science. And it's a new era that is coming and we have to embrace it. And we have to take help of somebody like MedGenome to diagnose and help the patient in having a better life. Thank you very much.